Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is February the 21st, 2021. It is yesterday I posted the most important video. As far as concerning myself, it's the video that touches in details my family as close as one possibly could touch. It describes uh, the inner circle of the family exactly uh, the type of relationship between psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia where I was hospitalized, Slovenian police, therefore this magic circle and my family. It explains Slovenia, exactly what Slovenia is in deepest, deepest, deepest details. I could not bargain for more but uh, video I have created is so far for me the best video I have created of all the videos. Uh, naturally I am referring to this video right here subversive Serbian Chetnik movement in Croatia okay you do want to see this video you absolutely do because you know, for me this is the best video I have created It's the video that completely completely explains absolutely everything my circumstances uh, when brought from United States of America to Slovenia literally inside of my house not only to Slovenia but forget about that but inside of my house exactly in Slovenia from Miami to Slovenia from 95 and up exactly what exactly went on here now, this is the video you do want to see uh, this video also demonstrates the Chetnik Serbian movement, subversive movement, war basically, terror on Croatia, the operations that Chetnik state exercised, they didn't exercise this only against Croatia, they did this also against other uh, newly, well, liberated, established independent states such as Bosnia and in Slovenia uh, but in this case we have Croatia on the map and Croatia was one of the main targets uh, for this Serbian Chetnik movement of which leader was Aleksandar Vucic so this is like the video the video of the videos I have created if any video is priceless then this here is Price is truth. Yes, is the video the which explains exactly, exactly what went on inside of my family inner circle. Uh, it touches my father in details. It explains exactly what kind of relationship did my father maintained toward me. Um, it touches um, a gentleman by the name Drago Pokorni. He is a professor of English language, he was the first man who would actually handle um, Americans that would come to a city in Novomesto, he was the one who would accommodate these people with language skills, he would demonstrate in the way around um, work for this prominent pharmaceutical company, mega company, uh, Kirka Pharmaceutical, right here from Novomesto. So that's why I had no wonder. And plus that, uh, he was my tutor of English, a private tutor. He would give me uh, lessons of English. Much I've learned, um, I gained English skills is thanks to this professor. Um, I do want to thank him, and especially I do want to thank him for him and that's what I'm going to explain next in video. Uh, truly being an honorable man in this case. I, unfortunately, due to the amount of violence, uh, started to see a little bit the whole thing. I wasn't sure on how to see one. Uh, especially because this is interesting. In this case, Alexander Vucic directly was involved. Sometimes in 2015, Alexander Vucic eventually appeared in the city of Darovar, 
another one who appeared in the city of Dado or that was also in 2012 and in 2015 was a staff members from Ljubljana Psychiatric Hospital. Both would give me a detailed brainwash on how to see things and inside of the city Daruvar and inside of this house per Croatian government. And I'm going to give you exactly the scenario manipulation on how they wanted to get these things done. Straight into my hands and I want to say thank you. The first thing I want to do is I want to start where the whole thing started right here this is what it started it's called village it's Doljani okay um, Doljani this is this here on the map all right if I zoom out like this first to give you an idea what where exactly we are at um, this here is Slovenia then you have Croatia so this is obviously Croatia and then down here in south you have Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina you have here and so now if you zoom here into this city Darvar you're gonna see that out of the city center there is a little village here it's called Doljani you see but if you zoom a little closer to this thing here especially if you in involve this map uh, not so good not so good I was hoping more but you can see the housing here that this is a village now, according to a staff from Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana, this is a Croatian village. And that Croatian government would not want me to say that this is where it started. Therefore, that it started right here. This is not true. This is not true. Uh, there was no need for Croatian government to... <laughs> Um, to to get into any of this stuff, you see. Going this way, you get to Gradiška. So you get to the part of the Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is occupied by the Serbs. Just how many kilometers? So you're talking about maybe 20, 30, not even 40 kilometers, and you are basically here in Serbia. Heading, mm, heading west, if you like, this way, you would go, you would eventually make it to Zagreb, to the city of Zagreb, to Slovenia. Oh, this I already did explain. It. This houses we are talking about, forget about the village. A village might be Croat, probably is a Croat. It doesn't matter really. You see, I learned one thing also here in Slovenia. Either that would be a village or especially in villages, the controlling points, points of these villages that will be near stores or the intersections or near restaurants and so on, um, literally instructed, and I have real cases about that, I can well, well, well articulate, I can well establish my case for saying this because I have recognized many right here in Slovenia. And I can tell you they place them right next to the stores. They place them basically right into areas where people would um, pass through, like on a daily basis. And they did this for certain reasons. One of the main reasons would be to literally uh, intimidate people. Intimidate people, demonstrate their presence. They try to exercise their for psycho warfare psychological warfare this is one of the main goals of this chetnik movement this houses as you see here they're not inside of the village the village is over there what you have seen on a map when croatian guys yes croatian guys would come to pick me up inside of these houses here which are located as i explained just 40 kilometers down this highway from Serbia from Bosnian part of Serbia now, This is not village. You're talking about along the highway houses like this When this Croatian guys would come to pick me up in the morning sometimes in 96, I suppose and Then we would head literally to the village through this um, 
just like this we would go through the fields and eventually get to the village and so on and go through basically browse this whole area with them whatever the hell they were up to this is how it all started that's why i said mr pokorny drago pokorny professor drago pokorny is an honorable man at the beginning the owner i believe of this what you see here also was a croat when it all started it was just eventually it was one girl that was a bosnian uh or maybe even two something like this girls three girls i don't know the girls there was one or two serbian girls it was more non-serbian than serbian even though that they would take uh assignments more than anybody would croatian girls understood they wouldn't want to do this stuff but once the news came to serbia the picture completely changed and from what you see here from this area here we would be transferred into another picture So I'm leaving right now this Doljani and I'm going toward the city of Darovar direction. We would be transferred to completely another picture and this was a picture right here. This here. This was the picture here. Uh, just a moment. This was a very, very, very subversive um, very, very sophisticated brainwash also. This is, it was just to get me actually on the ice uh, knowing that I am going to probably make it. I was told that I will not. Um, but if I would somehow make it, I would probably fail due to the stuff that I have spoken to you about. Because uh, in Vujic's interest was to portray me uh, as not credible witness. He knew that I'm going to get him. He knew that if I get here, he knew that I'm going to I'm going to go for it, that that I will do a lot of stuff. But what he wanted to do is he wanted to confuse on a story itself. He wanted to get me on a false path. So um, you, you can't go in here. Okay. So we move to this punkt here that you see. This here. So you have two houses here of which this here was the first one that was repaired. This is the house of, of the owner the tall house next to it and then you have these two smaller houses this is the house he built for himself and then he started to repair these two houses of which uh, the one that is closer to that tall house right there was the first one he invested money into and then also he concentrated on this one there was some girls here um it was something that went on here too However, this was the location we would move as a second location we would move to. Uh, for this location, I was taught literally by the psychiatric staff on Ljubljana. Make no mistake, this psychiatric staff on Ljubljana feared for their own life. They alone were brainwashed. They were tools, toys in the hands of Alexander Vucic, Chetnik Alexander Vucic really really helpful people for many reasons but i wouldn't be stupid enough to go and take their side in such important issues like this um third location we would move to was actually inside of the city of darovar much more modern uh modernized location
Oh, there you go. Which is inside of this street here. And precisely I am referring to the where you see the red car is parked. Right there. There was ladies here. Now by the time that we moved here and on another location, no girl anymore was either Bosnian or whatever it was. Uh, they had complete, complete, complete overview. Serbs have a total, total, total situation in their hands. Complete, complete, complete control. And you are talking about within the very, very short period, picture totally changed. You're talking about probably within one single year, the Serbs have completely control over. That's why I said that Drago Pokorni is an honorable man because he did not have this kind of intention and before he possibly could even realize he alone got a rope around his neck from people who first did not even have so many girls in the game but once the game started they replaced all the girls with their own girls and they started to run violent game I think that that Croatian owner, whether he wanted or not, he probably should be happy, if he is Croat, that he is alive today. And what you see right there in this house, this is the way it is here, folks. In this uh, house that you see right there, there was some girls in here. In here, There was some beautiful girls in there. It was like this. Uh, but nothing like where it all started. Here also was stuff that went on. Okay. Um, this stuff should be the only stuff that I should talk to you about. Um, and the other location, this was the most important location uh, for uh, a Vucic for me to uh, uh, the way he the way they came strong at me uh, about this here is they what Vucic goal was it was basically to depict me to the Serbian people as somebody who hates Serbian people because they're Serbian people and so he came up through the psychiatric stuff of Ljubljana with the idea that they would insist me that this area is the one that I have to talk about that it was all here because this area is the one that is mixed with a Serbian and Croatian people. Um, you know, um, if I would stick to that kind of story, probably he could say, well, you see, uh, it's not even true, but, you know, because he wanted to see it that way, whatever, you know. Uh, he used, literally he used, he blackmailed. He blackmailed, he used a Croatian state to blackmail. Uh, they insisted me, they made an arrangement with a Croatian government for me to say this way because they are the one, they demand from me to say like this and like that. So this was a total lie, total brainwashed, which, however, I did articulate, explain to you exactly how they have attempted to do this stuff. Okay? So now this Ljubljana psychiatric stuff was really, really helpful, beneficial, but far, far, far too political. And you already know who was inside of this psychiatric Ljubljana, what kind of people they ran this business, what exactly went on, um, I don't agree with this uh, people they have their own views, political views uh, and it's the kind of views that are actually none of their business I'm going to put it this way they're dangerous I acknowledge them as dangerous I acknowledge Slovenian police and I acknowledge them as extremely extremely dangerous you can't run health services mental services like this it doesn't work. This is actually Karadzic kind of stuff. And I am actually hurt, insulted, and angry that I came across stuff like this right now.
that I report to you. So this is exactly what, what went on. This is how it all started, and this is how it all went, and this is again, one more time, just one more time, how Vucic eventually have failed again in this case. As far as my father, this was just uh, this was just an ultra violent man. This is the man I, I learned as it wouldn't be only here that that he would pride himself that others others would do the stuff to me, but in a private settings in Slovenia, uh, whether that be outside in the nature or inside of the home, when he had opportunity, this guy uh, I would because of his criminal actions against me would not eventually even recognize him. Now, I was actually shocked about, I actually even asked, found myself even asking people who the fuck is this man. He also wore different kind of clothing. I have found the clothing he would use under MK Ultra, including shoes. Completely non-typical for him stuff that otherwise were. So that means that he masked himself in a certain way through the clothing and so on, that he would be also unrecognizable, that he would look different. Uh, ultra violent individual. Drago Pokorni, however, really, in my eyes, in my view, just a casualty of the Serbian Chetnik politic which is extremely, regretfully, I have to say, extremely present also in Slovenia. Extremely present. Now I did this with a pleasure, because it was just another lie as somebody tried to push me down the throat. And you see, this is a tremendous project I did. I think that this video I have released is so far for me the most important, by far the most important issue I have released uh, and with one story like this uh, with and basically with the closing the whole thing eventually could turn into something completely different today ladies and gentlemen is February the 21st 2021 here is your date and time thanks for watching this video Till next time.